This is the original MIA Microflight Ultralight radio control. This model that I built, uh, I don't know, about a year ago. It's been sitting on on hold. Just trying to find the time to uh, to do this properly. Even though the model is not fully painted in detail, it's got a GI Joe pilot for a little more authenticity. And as we can appreciate it in this video, it flies extremely well. I just uh, have a passion for ultralights. One of the reasons I decided to do this, this one from scratch, it's sort of based on the uh, Quicksilver, except the Quicksilver has the motor at the rear of the, uh, at the trailing edge of the wing. This one I decided to put it at the front, although that's not my favorite place to put motors. But um, I did it for weight purposes because the way the model is designed, I needed a little more weight at the front and uh, the way that I could achieve that was just to put the motor at the leading edge of the wing. So anyway, this is the, uh, this is the Mia radio control ultralight. Full ailerons. The wing is uh, Lowe's department, uh, hardware department store. Basically, quarter inch uh, foam sheet, construction foam sheet, which is working extremely well for this uh, model. I was going to do the wings in rip stop nylon, which I have tons of, but uh, I didn't want to sew the the material and I don't want to have to deal with that. This uh, foam sheet is working, it's a lot easier and it's working extremely well. It does have uh, quite a bit of camber on the wing and that's what gives it the uh, quite a bit of lift and a little bit of added stability that you normally don't get with a flat sheet. There we go, nice slow motion here for the camera. And I'm trying to, I gotta practice my uh, right turns because uh, I've been a little uneasy on my right turns, but no, it's, it's working. Okay, my right turn is working. I, I wasn't too confident. Because I've been playing helicopters and uh, this one is just, uh, okay, it's losing power. I can I can tell that it's losing power, so I'm gonna have to come down for a landing. And then we'll call it a, a day for this guy. Cool. 